You've been on some tough assignments, Manon, but this time we're sending you to a rather dark place. And this, of course, is Heinrich Himmler, Reichsfuhrer of the SS. One of the more pitiful excuses for a human being that you'll ever encounter. Did you know he was a fertilizer salesman before the war? The quality of his current product isn't much different. He spent the last few years trying to sell Hitler on the creation of an official SS nation-state within Germany, establishing a royal class among the master race. Unfortunately, Himmler and the SS seem to be getting their way. The influence of this criminal organization has continued to grow as the war has gone on, to the point that they already have many trappings of an autonomous republic, including their own economy, political system, even their own army, the Waffen-SS, and now it seems their own capital. This is Wevelsburg. It's a castle in the Paderborn region near the town of Buren that Himmler has slowly been converting into his personal palace over the last couple of years. Since the SS has so much power and is responsible for so much within the Third Reich, we've decided to send you inside Wevelsburg to find out what exactly is going on in there. Steal whatever documents you can. They'll not only inform us of their current activities, but they also might prove to be valuable evidence at the inevitable war crimes tribunal for these deviants. Your transport leaves tomorrow morning at 0500 hours. Be extremely careful, Manon. We're not sure what you're going to encounter, except that it's most likely going to be bad. Ascent to the Castle, 19th September 1943. As you've been briefed, Manon, this mission is not run-of-the-mill. The only weapon you have at your disposal is an experimental crossbow, the Big Joe. While it's absolutely silent, it is very slow to reload. To reach the castle, you're going to have to eliminate the German forces and commandeer a cable car up the mountain. To do this, you'll need to find some tools to disable the controls in the station. Otherwise, the car might be called back to the station before you've reached your destination. Follow the train tracks. They will take you to a road that leads to the cable car station and a radio building. The SS are everywhere and will quickly warn the castle if they smell any sign of trouble. Destroy the radio and cut off the airline of communication before you head up the mountain. Also, we've heard that Germans have just developed a new submachine gun. Keeps your eyes open for any information on this weapon. Be careful, and good luck.
Dark Valhalla, 19th September 1943. If the Germans haven't been alerted to your presence, they won't be expecting you when you reach the castle. I suggest trying to find another way in besides the main entrance. Those are SS troopers you will be facing. You'll want to catch them unaware if at all possible. In Himmler's office, a large safe protects the records of the castle's activities. Your first priority is to find some demolitions, blow the safe open, and acquire any incriminating documents for the Allies. As a side note, we've been informed that the legendary knife of Abraham has been stolen and is being kept within the walls of Wolfsburg. As a personal favor, please do your best to liberate the blade from them. We'll be sure it is returned to its rightful owner. Himmler seems to have been lost in his mystic worships and occult beliefs. He's begun seeing himself as a sort of new King Arthur and 12 highest ranking SS officers are his knights of the round table. We've heard references to some place code named Valhalla, but we don't quite know what to make of it. We're not sure what you'll find in that castle, so be prepared for just about anything.
a vicious cycle. 20th September 1943. So, Valhalla is really a room for communing with dead German kings, as well as the future home to the ashes of Hitler and other Nazi high officials. Well, Himmler is even further gone than we originally suspected. You've escaped the castle. However, there is no cable car available for you to send, so you'll have to head downhill on foot. You will soon run into a road that leads to the town of Buren. There is a German barracks just across a bridge off the main road. Use some of the explosives you found in the castle to destroy the bridge and slow down the enemies. Sirens have been triggered, and the Germans are scouring the hillside looking for you. Locate the control shack for the sirens and turn them off permanently. Once you have reached Buren, you will need to meet up with one of our underground operatives. Head to the house marked with the weather vane and go inside. He will hide you for a few days until we can bring you back to base.
Here is the band of criminals that was the Axis leadership at the beginning of the war. Adolf Hitler, Führer of the Third Reich, the man who personifies true evil. Benito Mussolini, an incompetent thug who sold out his own people. Hermann Göring, the decadent Reich Marshal in charge of the Luftwaffe. And Heinrich Himmler, head of the Nazi SS who oversaw the greatest crimes against humanity. Himmler was a mentally unstable man who truly believed the crazy mythology that he and his fellow SS deviants created in their efforts to establish an independent state within Nazi Germany. Unfortunately, Himmler took his own life before he could be brought to trial, unlike Göring, who was convicted and sentenced to death at the Nuremberg War Crimes Tribunal, and who is no doubt spending eternity with the rest of his friends. <laughs>